Welcome to Elik Health. Today we're making sea moss cookies, sea moss carrot cookies to be exact. The ingredients are as following. We need some flour. We're making gluten-free cookies, by the way, um, but you guys can get like any regular um, not gluten-free option if you like to get that. Um, we need some oats. Uh, we're going to be having some cinnamon and some baking powder. Those are going to be our dry ingredients. Uh, as a special ingredient to this cookie, we're going to be using sunflower seeds. Yes, sunflower seeds to give our cookies an extra crunch. So once you've put all those ingredients together, just give it a mix. So once you've mixed all of that up, just set your dry ingredients aside. Now it's time to get ready for our wet ingredients. I'm going to be using some carrots. I want to get my son to eat carrots without him knowing that he's eating carrots. That's why I'm putting them in these amazing sea moss carrot cookies. So they just taste like cookies. They don't taste like carrots. They don't taste the sea moss. But all of the nutrients and vitamins that the carrots and the sea moss has he's getting them inside his inside of his body every time he's having one cookie so i didn't have any shredded uh, finely shredded carrots in the house that's why i'm extra shredding these ones because we don't want him to see that the, the carrots are in the in the cookies so that's why i'm extra extra making sure that they're as fine as i can get them to be so just put that in the bowl and to the bowl i'm going to be adding some uh, apple sauce the apple sauce is going to be the next ingredient that i'm adding to these amazing sea moss cookies of course i'm going to be adding in some sea moss but before i do that i want to add a little bit of sweetener in and i'm choosing uh, some agave syrup it's about two tablespoons of agave syrup that i'm adding to these wet ingredients also, I'm going to be adding some coconut oil, uh, I just some melted coconut uh, oil. If you, if you have some vegetable oil, that's also good. I'm just using the one that I had in the house. So once that is in, it's time to put in my sea moss. If you live in the Netherlands, you can get the sea moss gel at elikhealth.com or get your raw sea moss at elikhealth.com if you don't live in the netherlands you can still follow this recipe just make your own gel and get ready to do it like i'm doing it right now so our wet ingredients also gonna are gonna get some eggs egg yolk uh, but before that i want to make sure that i mixed my other wet ingredients to get them just the way I like it so I'm trying this new trick out and yes the trick didn't work because look at that I had to scoop it out well it eventually <laughs> eventually worked so uh, if you're vegan and you don't want to have like uh, uh, animal products then you can leave this egg yolk out what you have to do once you do that is just add a little less of the applesauce into your mixture so our dry ingredients and our wet ingredients are both done now it's time to mix them together and start baking and start making our cookies after the ingredients are well mixed together just leave the dough to like rise for a couple of minutes i think i left it out for between five or ten minutes just leave it out then uh, start to preheat your oven to 180 degrees and make sure that you have a baking sheet uh, um, to place your cookies on it so let's do it it's time to get our cookies in shapes you guys can you can use whatever shape of cookies you like this is my method and like I enjoy it the cookies came out great and the cookies are great my son loves them I love them every time uh, in the weekend when he wants to have some cookies I'm like okay no problem let me get you some healthy sea moss carrot cookies if you guys want to get some more recipes and you like this recipe check out our sea moss recipe book it's available on our website www.aleakhealth.com and you'll get one of these recipes and lots and lots of more recipes. 
you can leave these cookies in the oven for about 15 to 20 maybe 25 minutes depending on how brown you want your cookies to get but i hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and thank you guys for watching do like share comment and subscribe and i would say thank you for watching i love 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 you bye bye now If you enjoyed this recipe and you want to get more, go to grab my CMOS recipe book. It's available on EliteHealth.com or click the link below.